Hi, I'm Nick from Drive Green, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're here at Goodwood Festival Speed 2021, and we want to share our five most memorable EV moments. This year's Festival of Speed has been somewhat of a roller coaster given the ongoing and ever adapting restrictions across the UK. Fortunately, the Goodwood team worked tirelessly and were able to register Festival of Speed as one of the government pilot events, which enabled the show to go on. Before we jump into our top five best EV moments, I want to show our appreciation to the overall increase in focus around the electric vehicles at this year's show. There has been a substantial effort from all of the manufacturers across the board this year, from Ford showing only EVs on their stand, Lotus bringing the Avaya, which looks simply stunning, Polestar brought along their preset to sit alongside the Polestar 1 and 2, and we really enjoyed Mini's Cooper Street, especially the Mini Electric House. We also have to mention Goodwood themselves, who have clearly put a lot of effort in to help push EVs at this year's show. Now on to the top five EV moments at this year's Festival of Speed. In fifth place, it was great to see the Mini Pace Setter. This one-off Mini Electric Pace Setter is inspired by JCW and is the new safety car for the Formula E World Championship Race Series. In addition to its striking design, the Pace Setter has had all but the absolute essential strip back from the interior and is 130 kilograms lighter than the standard Mini Cooper SE. Couple that with its 135 kilowatt motor, it can reach 0 to 62 in just 6.7 seconds. It was fantastic seeing this car set the pace up the hill. BMW always have a fantastic presence at Goodwood, and this year was no exception. Once again, taking over the Goodwood stable yard for their BMW Electric Boulevard. This year they showcased their first ever fully EV Grand Coupe, the i4, as well as the all new fully EV iX. And we were also very pleased to see one of our all time favourites, the i3. BMW are certainly on their way to hitting their target of nine new electric cars by 2025. I have to say the Korean companies Hyundai and Kia have completely smashed it. Both manufacturers have been making such huge strides in the automotive world for several years now, so it should be no surprise that they are already starting to really stand out in the EV space. For the first time ever, we see both Hyundai and Kia at the Festival of Speed sporting the Ionic 5 and the EV6, both of which grab your eye and their specifications are equally impressive. We were extremely impressed with both cars, their size and practicalities, and we can't wait to get our hands on them for a full road review. This year we had the absolute honour of driving up the hill. This really is such a special occasion for any motor and enthusiast, so when Ford offered the drive in their Mustang mach -E, we couldn't say no. The sensation of driving up the hill with all of the spectators really does get your blood rushing, and the mach -E, of course, performed tremendously. Ford have managed to tick so many boxes with this car, so keep an eye out for our full road review coming soon. And the number one spot this year goes to Goodwood themselves for the introduction of Electric Avenue. We were absolutely thrilled when we were informed of the introduction of this specific EV space and it did not disappoint. The idea was fantastic, the execution was even better. The sounds, the lights, the atmosphere, it's absolutely brilliant. You could see it enticing lots of people in, it encouraged people to ask questions and really start to think about EVs as a next step. Not only that, we saw a lot more brands in this space than we would typically expect to see at Festival Speed, so the format has clearly enabled more manufacturers to be able to have a presence at the show, which is also fantastic. The area covers it all and gives an incredible glimpse of what is available and helps people learn more about an extensive range of electric vehicles. It's fantastic to see Goodwood showing their understanding and support for the future of EV technology, and we can't wait to see how Electric Avenue develops in future events. And that concludes our top five EV moments from this year's show. Thank you very much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.